This is Roy Moss Older. Did you see the MAGA Hour Wednesday night when Donald Trump demolished the traps that CNN had laid out for him? It was supposed to be a bash Trump town hall. But it sure didn't turn out that way. Not by a smidgen. That's what I mean by Trump trumps CNN. This is how former Fox News commentator Dan Bongino described it on Thursday. It erupted and barraged with hostile, biased, gotcha questions all evening by moderator Caitlin Collins at Wednesday's CNN's Republican Presidential Town Hall in New Hampshire. Donald Trump still managed to thrill his mega base, look confident and relaxed, and gain a huge conservative endorsement as he builds on his momentum as the party's clear front runner for 2024. CNN thought in holding the town hall that it could control Donald Trump. But oh, they were wrong. I think we've seen and learned from the last seven years. Now, Dan Bengino said, that no one's going to control Donald Trump. Bongino said he likes and has been fair to all the GOP presidential candidates, even the likely ones, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, about whom he said, look, I'm in Florida, and I can tell you that we've never had a better governor and you're never going to get me to say otherwise. Nevertheless, after watching the town hall, Bongino, who said, I've always been a Trump guy, I think after last night, it's over. I really do. Last night, CNN thought it was going to be the kill shot for Donald Trump. It turned out to be the kill shot for CNN. I mean, he absolutely body bagged the CNN audience last night and the absolutely helpless Caitlin Collins. The Bongino's comments weren't a formal endorsement. Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., tweeted out the clip with the words, the great Dan Bongino endorses Donald Trump for president and says that after last night's destruction of CNN, that the GOP primary is over. Trump got more praise from War Room host and former Trump aide Steve Bannon who once owned the news media Breitbart. On his daily morning broadcast Thursday, Brennan said, quote, This was a command performance. What has freaked the media out about the town hall interview is that MAGA is ascendant Trump was triumphant, and they understand we're going to win the primary. We're going to win the general election, and Donald John Trump is going to be the 47th president of the United States. Democrats, including CNN's Jake Tapper and Anderson Cooper, who tallied up Trump's alleged lies. Never Trumper Republicans and supporters 
Abram DeSantis and other potential GOP challengers to Trump didn't share Bannon's view. But even some conservative influencers who had veered away from their ardent past support of Trump said the former president really got the best of CNN. Mike Cernovich, a one-time major Trump supporter, who now believes that Trump will lose the general election in 2024, tweeted that Trump won the town hall, and then tweeted to his 1.1 million followers. That's a lot of followers. We've got that, but that's a lot of followers that CNN ended his town hall 30 minutes early because too many people saw Trump. The theme of CNN getting defeated, as it were, by the man they despised the most was everywhere in conservative social media. From the moment he walked on to the CNN stage, Trump had the affection of the audience, earning a standing ovation. And after his hostile interviewer, Collins, had exited the stage, Trump hung around with the crowd, including some adoring fans who could be heard cheering him on. As usual, a combative, entertaining Trump was great for CNN's ratings. The Los Angeles Times ran this headline about the interview. CNN's Trump Town Hall nabs 3.1 million viewers amid brutal criticism. Christopher Cadelgo on Twitter. In other words, an average ratings night for Tucker Carlson's old Fox show. The following is a sample of Trump discussing big issues during the town hall interview. Here's what Trump said on the energy. At around the 25-minute mark of the town hall, Trump was asked by a woman in the audience named Danielle Riger, who was an oral surgery assistant and GOP activist in Derry, New Hampshire. She mentioned how prices for gas, food, and utilities have skyrocketed and said, quote, many people's bills are up hundreds of dollars a month, including mine. If elected president again, what's the first thing you would do to bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Trump responded, drill, baby drill, enunciating for the effect. The crowd applauded enthusiastically as the CNN cameras panned back to Riker, breaking into a big smile. Trump then went into his usual talking points about how America, under his leadership, was energy independent with gas prices much lower till Biden took over the White House and stupid people shut it all down. Here's what Trump said on the January 6th Capitol riot. One of the most widely circulated clips from the town hall, Trump calmly defended against Collins' accusation that he had a role in the violence of that January 6th 
and he pulled out a tweet that he sent out prior to the rally calling for peace and respect for the authorities. Here's what Trump said on immigration. As she did throughout the interview, CNN's Collins attempted gotcha questions of the former president, trying to get him on record making damaging claims. But Trump wasn't at all flustered. Trump said in response to a question on illegal immigration, adding that big cities and even states like Iowa are being swamped by the flood of illegal aliens encouraged and incentivized to come to the United States by Biden's lax policies. He predicted, especially with the now new surge at the end of Title 42, that 15 million, 15 million illegal aliens will have entered America by the end of this year. 15 million. What are we going to do with them? A post-town hall focus group demonstrated how everybody, I'm sorry, let me read that again. A post-town hall focus group demonstrated how every day Trump supporters are no longer intimidated by leading questions from TV news personalities. Another big winner Wednesday night was Republican Representative Byron Donalds of Florida, who recently endorsed Trump. Donalds continues to impress conservatives coast to coast with his ability to articulate sound principles while not shrinking back from hostile pro-Democrat media leftists. Brought on by CNN to discuss Trump's town hall performance, Donald's more than held his own against a bevy of CNN commentators in analyzing Trump's handling of the event. This is Ray. In every way, Donald Trump successfully amazed CNN and no doubt the three million plus who watched all of the town hall. In a very short time, I'm going to begin a several part series like the one I've done with Tucker Carlson called Should You Vote? for Donald Trump? Huh?